Okay, so hopefully I have enough juice to do this video. Um, just got done working on a hunting blind. Hopefully it turns out like the way I want it. I don't know, first one ever done. So we'll see how that works out. Um, as far as these, uh, these events, that's rough. Uh, I'm trying to stay on top of these videos the best I can. Been busy. Um, got a lot going on these past few weeks, past few days. More to come, obviously. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to take this time to talk to you guys about a, you guys a good fishing story here. Um, when I was a kid growing up, my grandparents had a cabin up in the mountains of uh, towards Avery County. We uh, we used to go up there every weekend, camp, fish, um, play cards, tell lies, all that kind of stuff. You know, you know how hunting people and fishing people are. Sit them around the corner, listen to lies all day. <laughs> but uh, no, um, we used to go up there more often than not on a not before trout season would open up uh first saturday in april uh same as turkey season i believe and we would uh we'd go up there and camp like i said stay um stay on friday night get up early saturday morning get us a spot um the fish because where this cabin was located go out on the front porch walk down through the woods boom there's a pond we get have our picking spots. We get there and fish. Um, <laughs> tell you a funny story. Uh, one year we were there, and uh, me and my dad didn't go up there camping. We were actually going to go to that pond. My grandparents was up there camping. We, uh, me and my dad, we drove up. We got there and uh, just before it was time to fish, and uh, actually no, it just turned daylight seven o'clock you can't fish before seven uh when trout season or trout fishing uh, they said you oh you just missed the game warden we're like okay he said no they got somebody so oh, really yeah not the uh there's a guy there he uh he could tell he was having a rough day obviously his encounter with the game warden wasn't the, what he had thought he got there probably his first time fishing i don't know uh, he got there and he looked around. Y'all not gonna fish? I said, no, nah, you can't fish before 7 o'clock. He said, why not? I said, game warden's bad up here. They said, they'll get you. He said, nah, it ain't no game warden around here. He looked around in the woods. There's nobody around. Bait his hook. Made his cast. Hook us to water. Game warden comes up out of the woods. Walks up to him and says, how you doing, sir? His eyes get about that big around. He says, uh, yeah, I got paint on my hands. Like I said, you know, I've been, been working on my blind. How you doing, sir? Let me see your license. I'm going to write you a ticket. <laughs> yeah, ruined his day. Um, uh, one year, one time I went up there and, uh, or no, I, I didn't go up there. My grandparents, I missed that day. My grandparents went up there catfish, or trout fishing, sorry. And, uh. My grandma said she was mad because she had one hooked and got it to the bank. They landed it. My grandpa grabbed his hands on it, tried to get it where he get a, a, a good uh, grip on it, but the thing just so slick, they, you know, slimy they are. If you ever fished, and he couldn't get a hand, on, didn't have a net, and he was trying to get a hand on this trout, and uh. uh <laughs> It kept slipping out of his hands, and long story short, it got away. Fast forward a few years later, we're fishing up there, and uh, that since sold the cabin, and uh, we were there fishing, and all of a sudden, uh, I was getting a bite, set the hook, started reeling in, tip my blind goes, or tip my pole goes. And I said, I don't know what I got. I said, Dad, I said, I think I got the kid of Moby Dick on the end of my line right here. 
or Jaws' kid or Jaws' senior, Jaws' junior, something. And I mean, I'm fighting this fish, fighting this fish, finally landed 18 inch long trout. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was a brown. I believe it was a brown. But yeah, um, which also brings me to another another little known fact about me. I don't like people that are not from around here. And I'll tell you why. I, it's nothing against you guys if you're not from North Carolina. But North Carolina, we got our way of doing things. And we can't stand it when people come and try to disorder our order. Uh, for instance, that pond uh, was under contract with the hatchery. And uh, the hatchery had had it in there. As long as uh, the contract had it in the contract, that as long as the pond was open to the uh, public, they'd come stock it. Well, this guy from Florida, and I get his frustration, he uh, got mad that people were pulling in his driveway. Well, before trout season opened up, he'd put dog food in the pond and feed the trout. So, which made the fishing suck. Because obviously, fish ain't hungry; they're not gonna they're not gonna bite. Well, now I get it. I mean, I get his frustration. Yeah, he didn't want people parking his road. Okay, fine, whatever. Uh, put a gate up. But no, he instead of doing that, this jerk decides that okay, not only am I gonna feed the trout, and that's not working, but um, finally he just decided he's gonna cut a tree through it across the road. So when that happened, they quit stocking it. And people quit going up there, but, you know, it is what it is. I mean, you know how when you're hunting and fishing, if you've been doing it for any amount of time, you lose places to go. People move in, don't want you there. They don't know you. Um, properties get sold. Developments buy it. You know, it just, it is what it is. It's one of those things, but. What can you do? Just keep on.